Hey everybody, Brian Akins. We're back to John J. Rebel. That was enough Billy B. Yankee yesterday. Guys, here's the one that you most often see that is not authentic. This one here is absolutely authentic. It's absolutely killer. Got Saxon on the camera. We're going to teach you something here today. First off, notice that C. Notice them old file finishing marks. The S is in the other quillion for Confederate States. Let's look at the butt. Undisturbed peen there. Notice the line there in the casting. Notice the blade has that waspy look that we like to see. Back out a little bit, Saxon showing the whole blade. Notice that it's thinner down here, then goes up a little bit. We're gonna step out into the sunshine on my shoulders real fast give you a better better look at the Christmas of that casting. Still got the original throat washer there. Scabbers long gone. And every time I show one of these, some uh, mouth-breathing Yankee will put in there, House of Swords! House of Swords! Well, has old Rebel got something for that, fellas? This is a House of Swords, guys. Notice the blade difference. I mean, I just, uh, people don't want to learn. They just want to comment before they use any brain matter. Now, this one could have been cast from this one, the handle, okay? Because look here. Look how much smaller it is. If you put these up, this one is just smaller. You might be able to see it with the eye, but everything about it is smaller because this fake one was probably cast from a real one. Notice how modeled the C is. Nothing. Just step back out in the sun. Let's look at the handles. Notice that the handle on the fake one right here, the handle on the real one. Hope the old iPhone's getting it. I don't know. Maybe too shady. We'll have to look. All right, guys. This is a real one. This is House of Swords. House of Swords. Fake one. All right, guys. I'm Brian Akins, RebelRelics.com, trying to help you not buy any crap. Uh, see ya!